Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm a service designer living in Scotland. This short video is about making your social media post accessible. To reach your audience, you need to make sure everyone can access your post. So here are a few advice for you. Use plain English. Avoid jargon and use clear, simple language. If you're creating a longer post on platform like Facebook or LinkedIn, use line breaks to break up your text. Alt text. This is short for alternative text. This is a text that is read by a screen reader when there is an image in your post. You need to provide that text to describe that image. So for example, for this image, you could have two cute kittens in a paper bag. All pictures should have an, an alt text, so people with screen readers don't miss out any information. If you can't add a proper alt text, like on Slack or Yammer, for example, just describe it within your post in square brackets. A good way to know what to say for your alt text is to think of how you would describe it to someone over the phone. And it's best to keep it short and to keep to the level, the level of detail needed to make your point. Capitalize hashtags. This is hard to read. This is easier to read. Well, at least I hope it is for you. But if you use a screen reader, then it's definitely easier because the screen reader will see the word separately in that case. And this is so it is how to format an accessible hashtag. Do you know this one? You might have seen the hashtag A11Y on social media. It is a short version of the word accessibility. You take the first and last letters and instead of writing the 11 letters in between, you just write 11. Add captions. Make sure people can understand your video even if they can't hear. And if there's no sound, say it, so people who can't hear don't think they are missing out. Auto-generated caption is better than nothing, but not ideal. Quite often there are lots of mistakes in it, even though they are getting better. Emoji. You can use emoji, but be aware that screen readers will read them, so don't use too many of them. For this one, you would hear smiley face emoji. Only use them in addition to written text, not instead. Best to use them at the end. Hashtags and mention should also go at the end. The hash key of your hashtag and the at of your name mentions are said aloud by screen readers. So it's best to add them after the text instead of within the text. It makes it easier to understand. Avoid writing in capital letters. Some people rely on the shape of a word to read more efficiently. Using all caps means the words lose their shape. And sometimes screen readers read the words letter by letter. And it can be interpreted as shouting. Do you want to learn more? Join a meetup group about accessibility. Or follow disabled people on Twitter or LinkedIn and learn from them. You don't need to become an expert, but just to make a start. Thank you.